Johnny, I understand in the press there have been some reports of a new strain of COVID-19 emerging. Could the use of blockchain technology assuage the proliferation of these pandemics? You, well, yeah, there have been several reports coming out of the States um, and work being done at Sheffield University. And whilst the um, studies haven't yet been peer reviewed, it looks like there's a potential strain which is even more infectious than COVID-19. And interesting to see that 75% of all infectious emerging diseases in the last 50 years have been zoonotic, i.e. they've actually come from animal to human, according to the US Centre for Disease Control and, and Prevention. But there are actually potentially four ways that blockchain can be helpful to um, battle against these pandemics. First of all, it can actually track those that are infected. It can actually help in clinical research trials because they can anonymize the data and therefore they keep the personal information discreet because pharmaceutical companies and governments are more interested in the trends of how it's actually spreading. It can also help to track donations in terms of money given and where the money's been spent. And, but the, Having said all this, there are challenges around blockchain and some of these challenges are, are regulatory as potentially no party is responsible or could be held accountable if the wrong blockchain was used. And it's possible not to actually delete some information, which could be in a breach of GDPR in certain places that have the right to be forgotten. We also have the challenges around data privacy as people's movements being tracked and who they've been in contact with. And then we have patient engagement. Sorry, what do you mean about patient engagement? Well, if you're very young or very old or you've got limited mental capacity, how can you give your permission for your data to be used? And then finally, there's this interoperability of data because there's different standards and different regulations. And in order to be able to see a global picture, we'd want the information to be held on a database where all the information could be actually looked at. And then finally, we have the old challenge of scale and um, speed in, in terms of the blockchains. And it could well be proving a challenge given the huge amount of medical data per person that need to be held. So it seems, it seems that there's a trade-off between security and privacy. And with the new technologies that are coming through, it's increasingly the highlighting the need for society to decide how are these going to be reconciled.